Just like taking the log can help make the normality assumption of the t-test more true, we can think about the same option when we are doing a regression. So if you look at a scatter plot of two variables that you'd like to use in a simple linear regression, like x and y, it's very possible that the linearity assumption won't be true. Maybe the data goes like this or like this instead of like this. It's also likely that perhaps the homoscedasticity assumption won't be true. The equal constant variance assumption won't be true. Right? So it's possible that the points go like this instead of like this. Now, it's not always the case that you can take some simple transformation and make everything look like a perfect simple linear regression. With any parametric model, it's never going to quite be true. That said, it's often true that taking the log of one or both of your axes can make the simple linear regression more likely. The way to test that is just to try taking the log of one or both of your axes and see if you get something that looks like it's appropriate for a simple linear regression. And if you do, you can do the simple linear regression on that transform scale. And because you choose the log, as opposed to some other transformations such as reciprocals or square roots, because you choose the log, it's possible to interpret the results back on the original scale. What we're going to do now is talk about each of those possibilities, logging just y but not x, logging just x but not y, logging both, and talk about what statement you can then make, what conclusions you can then draw from the simple linear regression that you run on the transform scale. Before we do that, I want to make sure it's crystal clear what statement we can make when we think about the original scale. So let me just write down the equation for a simple linear regression. What we're saying is that the mean of y given x follows a linear pattern with some intercept and some slope. Okay. So in particular, what does this statement say about the way the mean of y given x changes when x increases? In order to make sure this is crystal clear, I'm going to do this with an actual number. So what if we say, that we're interested in the mean of y given that x is equal to 3. Well, according to this equation, if this model is exactly true, that's beta, one, beta 0 plus beta 1 times 3. Okay. All right, and what if we're interested in the mean of y given that x is equal to 4? All right, well, that's beta 0 plus beta 1 times 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract these two equations from each other, and on the left side I'm going to obtain the mean of y given x is equal to 4 minus the mean of y given x is equal to 3. I just subtracted those two left sides. Now I'm going to subtract the two right sides. What's going to happen? Beta 0 minus beta 0, cancel. Beta 1 times 4 minus beta 1 times 3 is just equal to beta 1. What statement are we able to make about the way the mean of y given x changes when x changes? What we've just illustrated is that when x goes up by 1, when x increases by 1, when we add 1 to whatever x is, when x goes up by 1, the mean of y given x increases by beta 1. One way to rewrite this statement is to say the mean of y given x is equal to 4, I'm going to add this to both sides, is equal to the mean of y given x is equal to 3 plus beta 1. To get to the mean of y when x is equal to 4, we take the mean of y when x is equal to 3 and we add beta 1. And this is exactly what you'd think when you interpret a slope anyway. When x goes up by 1, the mean of y goes up by beta 1, because that's what a slope is. Okay. So that's on the untransformed scale. If that, that's if we log neither x nor y. When x goes up by 1, the mean of y goes up by beta 1. I'm saying that a lot of times so that it sinks in. My goal now is to come up with, to derive a similar statement for each of the other scenarios. If we log y but not x, if we log x but not y, if we log both of them. A similar statement. When something happens to x, what is it that happens to y? Let's start with the scenario where we log y, but not x, in order to make this problem look like a simple linear regression. 